Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen and amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. Today, brothers and sisters, I look at some contrasts. Oh, and amen. We'll be in Galatians today. Galatians, one of those hard books, right? No, it's glorious. Glorious and wonderful and true. And no end, amen. In chapter 5, we'll start with a verse and then we'll go to the text that we're really going to be looking at today. But verse 1 of chapter 5 says something most interesting. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Well, praise God. We have been set free from the law of sin and death. We have been set free from the yokes of the world, from every aspect of that. And we'll, we'll get into what some of those yokes are here in just a minute. But we have, have been set free. Oh, and hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. If you're out there today and you are wrapped up in the bondages of, of the devil and the things of this world, you need not be. Freedom is available for you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, and by the power and might of his Holy Spirit, you can be free today from whatever yoke of bondage that the world has wrapped you up in yoked you to and drag you down. Oh, and amen. What? <laughs> Having established that fact, consider a contrast here. Starting at verse 18 of chapter 5. But if ye be led of the Spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulsions, wrath, strife, <clears throat> seditions, and heresies. Envying, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. O oh God, hallelujah. Contrast is quite clear. Do not be yoked or bound in any way, shape, or form to these things. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulsions, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Such like. These are the things that are of the world. These are the bondages, the yokes. And they are not of God. And if they hold you today, you can be free in Jesus Christ. That instead of these things, there is the fruit of the Spirit, capital S, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, and the fruit that is produced is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, 
gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and against such there is no law. More than men now. <laughs> but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. We live in a day in, in a world today that is most desperately in need of our long suffering, our patience and goodness. to witness to the glory of our God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let us walk in the spirit, not in the flesh, not in the world, things of the world, but the spirit of God. Amen. Oh, and glory, amen, and amen. In chapter 6 and verse 7, we read this. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit, capital S, Holy Spirit, shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Oh, praise God and hallelujah. <laughs> and let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Bless truth. So let us walk after the spirit, not after the flesh, the things of the flesh. and witness to the glory of God to those who do not know and have not been touched by the wonderful truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, brothers and sisters, our witness is so needed in the world, so needed. Oh God, that we will walk in your glory, oh God, in your truth, in your spirit, that the world may know of this glorious and wonderful truth, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus' holy and blessed name. Today, brothers and sisters, walk in the fruit of the Spirit and share Jesus. <laughs>